How's it going everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon White 2. Last time we went to the Celestial Tower and we calmed the lost spirits by ringing the bell at the very very top. We also met with Professor Juniper who gave us a lucky egg, a very good item in which you can gain more experience in battle. And in this episode, we are going to be taking on the Mastralton Gym and its leader, Skyla. This will be our sixth gym battle. Can you believe that? It seems like we're very close to the end, but we still got a bit of ways to go even after this. So without any further ado, let's get started. So at the end of the last episode, I did a bit of a preview of the gym. And basically, we are in a giant wind tunnel turbine-like space. And we just need to try to avoid not getting blown off the, uh, area. It, <laughs> the, uh, repel wearing off wasn't part of my plan, but anyway, we do have some trainers that we can battle, of course, because this is a gym. So, let's go ahead and do that, beginning with the pilot here, whose name is Flynn. <laughs> pilot Flynn, he has fly in his name, huh? I get it, I get it. Anyway, he has a swoobat. And in case you couldn't figure, the star of this gym is hopefully going to be Tynamo because it is an electric type and I would like for Tynamo to be the star. Although I do have uh, Excadrill in the back just in case if need be. Although that calm mind doesn't really reassure me that Tynamo is going to be able to do this by itself. Uh, so my little uh, and amnesia now. Oh my god. All right, Tynamo, you need to put in the work right here. This is a physical move. It's been raising its special defenses. There we go. That's the ticket. All right. Now, as long as we can survive this air slash, we are good. And as long as we didn't flinch either. There we go. Strong, strong first battle here from Tynamo. And that is going to guarantee us level 36. Oh, look at that boosted experience. And it's not even shared with anybody with experience share either. Oh, so good. We have defeated... Pilot Flynn. And now I'm gonna need to heal up because, yeah, Tynamo going into this battle with low health points isn't really my game plan. Also, if you do get blown by the wind, you will be shoved towards the nearest wall. So be very, very careful of where you are walking because otherwise you can get blown all the way back pretty much to the beginning. So be very, very careful. All right, Tynamo, get that super potion, and now we are all set and ready to go to continue on with the gym. So let's make our way over to this wall right here. Let's wait for the wind to blow. Let's get ready to go, 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 go. All right. Now we gotta go again, as soon as it goes. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. All right, perfect. I think we'd be safe if we were just standing out in the middle of the field area by this guy, by this pilot. Which by- oh, because there's a wall back here, I was gonna say. Wait, why isn't he blowing off? It's because there's a wall right by him, so he can't blow off. Although that'd be really cruel if there was no wall there and this pilot was just, like, stuck to keep flying off. <laughs> that sounds really, really cruel. Anyway, we are facing off against a Sigilyph. Sigilyph is a very, very scary Pokemon to face, which is why I'm glad I'm using it, because it could be very helpful uh, for my shenanigans in terms of adventuring. However, yeah, I think I'm going to have to switch Tynamo out. However, it's not very good to face either, so it's like a double-edged sword when I face Sigilyph in this. Oh, mirror move or mirror shot that was? Oh boy. Well, hopefully this rock slide will connect and take you out completely. No, it does not. Light screen. Okay, so it used both of the uh, reflecting moves. That's cool. And I guess I can finish you off with strength, maybe? That didn't do enough. Mirror move. Oh, there it is. Here comes the strength. Yeah, that's what it used there. <laughs> Rocky helmet on Excadrill is going to take you out. See you later. And we're going to get more experience for Tynamo as we have defeated Pilot Winslow. All right, now we await our next gust of wind. Here we go. Let's get on the move. 
just barely going to make it over here. All right. Now we move over here to the next guy. And we're going to be thrown right into the battle because, I mean, we were... We did walk in his line of sight, so, I mean, it was, like, fairly obvious that we were going to do that. All right, so far so good in terms of navigating the gym. It's been a few years since I actually, you know, played through this gym. So it's, like, yeah. And that might sound weird to you, like, wait, you haven't played this game extensively through to, you know, be practicing and stuff? I mean, yeah, I, the Pokemon games in particular, honestly, you don't really need to even practice. It's good for, like, hey, so this item's here, this Pokemon's here, you know? Like, if I were an extensive, doing an extensive walkthrough. But Pokemon games are kind of so linear that you don't need to play them over and over again to practice. Honestly. Level 37 for Tynemo. And we're paralyzed. Unpheasant's coming out next. I'm just gonna switch to Excadrill. So yeah, um... Like, obviously I've played this game in between there, because, uh... I think I've told this story before. Um, my, usually during the summer, uh, when my cousins from Georgia come to visit, um, usually we play a Pokemon game Nuzlocke run thing, uh, to just, you know, go through it for fun. Usually it's multiple Pokemon games, because, you know, we end up losing all our Nuzlocke runs so quickly. Um, but usually we're, we play through White or White 2. So I've played the game before. I usually lose, though, before the 6th gym, which, <laughs> which is why it has been, it, which is why it's been a couple years. Anyway, uh, I hope that doesn't blow me. Okay, we're good. All right, now we need to make our way down by you, Mr. Pilot Man, because you have a wall right next to you. That way I don't get to be blown all the way back to the beginning of the gym. Although I think that doesn't really happen. I think only in that first area to the right it would happen. Otherwise, I think it's just like walls and boxes and yeah, I think it's pretty linear. Anyway, uh, ooh, I didn't want to go into the battle before healing. I forgot about healing Tynemo. Well, Excadrill, uh, big red button, here we go. It's time to use our big red button. I mean, it, it kind of works. I mean, Excadrill has like red spots all over it, so it works saying Excadrill's my big red button. All right, Rock Slide. We missed our first one, which kind of sucks. And that one isn't going to even take it out. Goodness me. The the Pokemon levels are catching up to our own in terms of trainers compared to ours. So, I mean, I might have to do a bit of extensive training soon. Anyway, we defeated Pilot Ewing. Ewing? Ewing? I don't... I never know how to pronounce... Ewing? I never know how to pronounce that. Anyway, we defeated the Pilot. And now, before we even move, I'm gonna heal Tynemo. Alright, so I'm gonna use a full heal to take care of that paralysis. And I'm also going to use a super potion or two. One for Tynemo, one for Excadrill. There we go. Now we're all set and ready to go towards the next trainer. <laughs> I like how it blew me facing off against Ewing. That's actually funny. Alright, wait for that to pass, and now let's go, 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 go. There's a whole stretch of just all of this. It's really, really concerning. Alright, here we go. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, I'm gonna go flying. Oh, I hit the wall. Yeah, we would go pretty f Oh, I didn't mean to use another super repel. Oh, that sucks. Alright, I need to go to the bottom one. Okay. Let's wait, because there's one more pilot we can face. And also, that leads us straight to the gym leader, pretty much, so... I mean, yeah, we need to go that path anyway. The one thing that I forgot about this gym, that... <laughs> the pathway towards the final trainer, and to Skyla, the gym leader. Alright, pilot chase. Alright. Ducklet? Oh, that's such an easy Pokemon for us to face. I loved using Ducklet and Swano in black and white. Uh, in white. I don't... I didn't play both games. Um, I loved using Ducklet in white and... Well, Swanna in white. Such a good Pokemon. Really underrated, too. Alright, there we go. 
Bye, Duckway. I'm sorry I had to do this to you, but it had to be done. All right, no, we are not switching out, hopefully, against Swoobat. Hopefully, I will be able to take it out myself. Hopefully, I don't need to send in Excadrill. Come on, Tynamo, you can do the... Oh, critical hit. Oh, that's wonderful. That's a good omen to the start of this battle. Oh, man. Uh, I kind of want you to do this, but I don't trust not getting critical hitted, so I'm going to use a super potion. Please, you... Like, I'm begging you to use a stat boosting move. Thank you. Okay, that works. That works. As long as you don't get a critical... As long as you don't get a critical hit. Okay, you use Calm Mind. Good. Oh, goodness me. As long as we don't miss, we should do thank you. <laughs> I mean, does Spark even... I think Spark's 100% accurate. I mean, 100% accurate moves can miss, too. Uh, even without, like, a sand attack happening, so... Anyway, Tynamo grew to level 38, and we have defeated Pilot Chase. Alright. <laughs> I like how the wind blew as soon as I was done with the battle. And now that leads us to Skyla. Hello, Skyla. It is time. Tynamo is pretty set. It got healed up right before... And the Swoobat was kind of stupid, so we didn't take any more damage. Let's just do it. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. You're a tough trainer who can face the wind and not get blown off your feet. I'm kind of excited about this battle. Why don't you and I have some fun? That pose is not rated E, but here we go. We have been challenged by Gym Leader Skyla, and she's going to start out with Swoobat, who in easy and normal mode is level 34 and 37 respectively, psychic flying type, unaware for the ability, with the moves Acrobatics, Heart Stamp, Assurance, and Attract. In challenge mode, Swoobat is level 40, still psychic flying, still with unaware, and its moveset is psychic, acrobatics, energy ball, and attract. A very, very good diversive moveset for the challenge mode version of this Pokemon. Oh, goodness, we are in a bit of a pickle. Uh, yeah, we're gonna switch out to Excadrill here. Sorry, Tynamo, I wish I could, you know, keep you in, but I can't. Uh, anyway, I should go over her exclusive challenge mode Pokemon while I'm still stuck in this battle. Her challenge mode additional Pokemon is Sigilyph, level 40, Psychic Flying type with Magic Guard for the ability, and its moveset is Psychic, Flash Cannon, Air Cutter, and Hypnosis. And there's the Hyper Potion for Swana, I mean, uh, not Swana, Swoobat. I kind of already spoiled a team member that... <laughs> that she has. It's okay. I mean, a real, well, actually, no, yeah, she did replace her on Pheasant. Uh, oh, speaking of Swana, her ace Pokemon, Swana, level, oh, wait, do I, oh, my notes had it, my, uh, formatting wrong. Swana, level 36 in easy mode, 39 in normal, and 42 in challenge mode. Water Flying type, Big Pex for the ability, and it is holding a Citrus Berry. With the moves, Bubble Beam in Easy and Normal Mode, Surf and Challenge Mode instead, Air Slash, Roost, and Feather Dance. Alright, so let's use a Super Potion on Tynamo, because Tynamo I want to win this battle, which might be hard anyway, because yeah, this one is so high of a level... Maybe a rock slide beforehand could help. As long as I survive this bubble beam? No, that's not gonna happen. Alright. Well, that sucks. Tynamo, I don't trust sending you in yet. Alright, I'm gonna send in Sigilyph first. And I'm hoping that I can weaken it enough so Tynamo can get some experience. Alright. Let's use Psybeam. That's perfect. We got it to use its Citrus Berry as well. Okay. It's gonna use Feather Dance. Our attack is gonna fall, but that doesn't matter. We're a special attacker anyway. Even though we do have Fly, technically speaking. But Fly's really only to do some quick travel. 
Psybeam once more. Perfect. Alright, I'm gonna heal up Tynemo one more time, and then hopefully Sigilyph will fall to Swanna, and then hopefully Tynemo can take a Bubble Beam or Air Slash from Swanna. Swanna has very good special attacks, so I'm a little bit worried, especially when it comes to Air Slash. Hopefully things will be okay. And did it- oh, it just used Roost, I was gonna say. Wait, what did it just- how did its HP go back up? Oh, I was gonna- okay. It's, it's just using Roost over and over again. Um, should I use... I don't know if I should... I think I'm gonna Tailwind here just to see what it's gonna use. Okay, it's just gonna keep going for Roost. Um... Hmm. I want Tynemo to get experience, but... I'm not really sure if I should send it in and have it get... You know, take damage right now. Okay, good. Thank you for using something new. Thank you for using Air Slash. Um. Okay, I'm, I'm, I want Tynemo to get in here for some experience. As long as it, even if it faints right here, I can just use a revive and it'll be okay. Okay, you used Roost. Alright, that's perfect actually. Thank you. I mean, it was lower on health, so it, may, it makes sense. Alright, I'm gonna use Spark. And hopefully- Okay, we do outspeed it. I think that's because of the Tailwind, though, so that kind of sucks. Four times super effective. Not enough to take it out, but we did get the Paralysis, which is good. And also, my attack fell now, so and now I have to go for Charge Beam. Yay! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, Tailwind has petered out. Hopefully, we still outspeed because it's paralyzed. Yes, we do. Not gonna use another healing item. Down goes Swanna. That is going to be a good amount of experience, even though we share it with Sigilyph, technically. All right. And now, Skyla's final Pokemon, Skarmory. Level 34 in Easy Mode, level 37 in Challenge Mode. Steel Flying type with Sturdy for the ability. Its moveset is Steel Wing, Air Cutter, Agility, and Fury Attack. When it comes to Challenge Mode, Skarmory is level 40, still Steel Flying, still, have sturdy, still having Sturdy for its ability, but it's holding a Citrus Berry. And its moveset, I'm gonna send in Sigilyph here, its moveset in Challenge Mode is Steel Wing, Agility, Aerial Ace, and X Scissor. So I, re I really like the movesets for the Gym Leaders, at least with in Skyla's case for her Swoobat in Challenge Mode and her Skarmory in Challenge Mode. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use a Revive on Excadrill, because Excadrill would be the best option to take on Skarmory. And then hopefully, hopefully we will be able to take it out. All right, here we go. Excadrill, come on out. And, Hopefully Rock Slide connects. It does. It has Sturdy, so even if it takes it down- That did nothing. Uh, I think Tynemo actually is the better option, but it's now very speedy. Um, okay, I'm gonna try to do as much damage with Excadrill as I can, and then probably finish it off with Tynemo. Okay, that might be it for damage there. Let's- okay, Tynemo's full health. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm j I guess I'm just gonna use Strength? I don't really- I could have j actually just finished it off if I got Rock Slide to connect. I might still do it here with Strength. Not quite. <laughs> not quite. Alright. This should do it either way. Yeah, Rocky Helmet should take it out. And Excadrill lived to fight another day, even though that was her last Pokemon because we're not playing Challenge Mode. There we go. We have defeated Gym Leader Skyla. You're an amazing Pokemon trainer. My Pokemon and I are happy because for the first time in quite a while, about two years, I'd say, we could fight with our full strength. This is an official League Gym Badge, but this is just a stepping stone.
we have received the Jet Badge from Skyla. Wow, hot stuff. With that many gym badges, Pokemon up to level 70 will obey you. I also want you to have this TM, so that you'll always remember this battle. TM62 Acrobatics. Her signature move, of course. I wonder what Professor Juniper is up to. I did promise her a ride in my plane. And now... We get blown all the way to the beginning. Whee! And we even destroyed the bot. We got blown out of the building, actually. Holy moly. Time for a quick hop in my plane. Hey, where did Professor Juniper get to? Hi there. I hope we can get some good research done on the other side of the mountain as well. That's right. I want you to take this flight, too. There's someone I want you to meet in Opelucid City. But we can't get through Twist Mountain right now. We'll just make a quick flight over to Lentimos Town. I'll be waiting for you in Mistralton Cargo Service. Hey, Professor, wait up! Honestly, she just does everything at her own pace. Okay, you come too! Well, it looks like we know what we're doing next time on Pokemon White 2. We are boarding Skyla's plane, and we are flying to Lentimos Town. But until then, thank you for watching, and I will catch you later.